Broadcasting from Can Island High School on September 11th. This is your Buck Report. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about today's events and meetings. Over the weekend, our varsity football team held their home season opener against Baltimore City College. After a very successful first three quarters, the Black Knights tried and almost succeeded a late fourth quarter comeback. Fortunately, the team was able to hold on and defeat them 31-30 and extend their record to 2 0. Another pair of touchdowns for Shane Bergardis as well as one by Tucker Claxton, with the final touchdown of the game by Austin Holland after a great run to the red zone by Connor Byrne. An outstanding interception in the Knights end zone by Tucker Claxton put an end to their hopes for a late game go-ahead touchdown. Our JV football team traveled to City College Saturday morning to face the Black Knights there. They also came away with a victory winning 12 And we have a full schedule as well. Our golf team will be heading to Cambridge in South Dorchester to the Hyatt River Marsh Golf Course to compete against seven other schools. This event begins at 3.30. Our JV and varsity boys soccer team will be traveling to Easton High School to take on the Warriors. Games begin at 4 p.m. Our women's soccer team will be playing with Comico High School in Salisbury rescheduled from last week. This game starts at 5 p.m. Lastly, here at home, our JV and varsity field hockey teams will be hosting the Stephen Decatur Seahawks. The excitement begins in our stadium with the JV game at 4 p.m. Have a wonderful day. Let's go, Bucks! Good Monday morning, Bucks. Today for lunch, we are going to be serving breakfast. You get your pancakes, you get your tater tots, your scrambled eggs, your sausage, and your nice warm belly. See you soon. Good morning, Bucks. I'm Evan, and there's a 30% uh, chance it's already raining. Today we might have some sun coming out in the afternoon with a high of 80 degrees. Barometric pressure is 29.92. Stay, Stay dry, dry out, out there, Bucks. Good morning, Bucks. So today we do have University of Maryland College Park College Rep visit coming today. For those of you that have signed up on Naviance, the section is full with 30 students. If you are one of my people who are able to secure a spot with our college rep. Seniors, over 200 of you have completed the Google form I sent out. I'm still waiting on about 70 of you to complete that form each day. Thanks. Have a great day. Seniors, don't forget there's a college application night this Wednesday at 6 p.m. We'll be meeting today directly after school until 3.30 in Portable 3. Please contact Mrs. Phelps with any questions. QAC Goes Purple is a substance abuse awareness program that empowers our youth and our community to go purple as a sign of taking a stand against substance abuse. Each school is asked to participate in creating an installation this month. Students interested in contributing to the Mosaic Message installation should contact Rain Dietrich or Ms. Schulte by 3 p.m. today. There will be a wrestling interest meeting tomorrow in room 211 directly after school. All boys and girls are encouraged to consider competing in wrestling. For questions, please reach out to Coach Sitar. The Chess Club will be meeting right after school tomorrow and will be held in room 409. Anybody is welcome to join. Rutgers University, New Brunswick, will be visiting KIHS Wednesday at 8.40 a.m. If you are a junior or senior interested in Rutgers University, New Brunswick, log on to Naviance and sign up to attend this rep visit under the college tab. Attention National English Honor Society members. There will be an NEHS meeting this Wednesday after school at 2.30 in room 104. For questions, please contact Ms. Duplechain. Washington College will be visiting KHS next Wednesday at 10.15 a.m. If you are a junior or senior interested in Washington College, log on to Naviance and sign up to attend this rep visit under the college tab. National Portfolio Day at MICA is Saturday, September 16th. This is an opportunity to have our school admission officers review your body of work for application or provide feedback for building. Anyone in grades 10 through 12 who is even considering applying to art school in the future is highly encouraged to attend. The feedback is very valuable. Registration is free. Follow the link or see Mrs. Schulte by Wednesday. You want to join the fishing club? Come on down on Thursdays. Hang out with the real bucks. True Colors, No Barriers is accepting entries for the second annual Mental Health Awareness Art Show. 
This is an incredible opportunity to use your art to bring awareness to this global epidemic. Additionally, showcasing your work alongside professionals who share your passion is a powerful experience. Our students really enjoyed the gallery opening last year and KI took home two of the top monetary awards. If you're interested in submitting or attending, please see Ms. Schulte. The deadline for submissions is September 29th. The Social Studies Honor Society is accepting applications for membership. Applicants must have attended KIHS for at least one full semester, have completed two social studies courses, have an overall 3.0 GPA and a 3.5 GPA in social studies classes. Please contact Mr. Robbins with any questions or to get an application. Applications are due to Mr. Robbins by this Friday, September 15th by 2.30 p.m. Attention all men's lacrosse players. There will be a lacrosse meeting on Tuesday, September 19th from 2.45 to 3.15 p.m. in the auditorium. All returning and potential candidates for the program 9th to 10th should attend this brief interest meeting. That's all the time that we have for today. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day.